The Denver Broncos are set to have joint practices with the Green Bay Packers in week two of the preseason, and I'm here to tell you why that is such a big deal. Each and every single year that the Denver Broncos have held joint practices, some key detail, some key storyline was foreshadowed in those practices that would emerge later on in the regular season. Last year's joint practices with the Los Angeles Rams were closed off to the public. They were only open to media, and details were very limited as to what went down in those practices from a Broncos standpoint. But based on reports coming out from Rams media that day, the Broncos had issues in those practices. And sure enough, the Broncos had operational issues last year that, that spilled over from those joint practices. It's the first time that the Broncos have a chance to practice against a different company color jersey and that's when a lot of stuff is going to be revealed about your football team we'll throw it back to 2022 the nathaniel hackett year the denver broncos had joint practices with the dallas cowboys and they were extraordinarily undisciplined in those practices multiple pre multiple pre-snap penalties multiple fights randy gregory was at the center of all kinds of drama in those joint practices and then you remember in the regular season that year the broncos were the most penalized team in the nfl especially with pre-snap penalties and randy gregory was in the midst of all kinds of sideline drama you think about the christmas day game against the los angeles rams 2021 the denver broncos had joint practices with the minnesota vikings up in minneapolis and that was the teddy bridgewater drew lock quarterback competition and drew lock and teddy bridgewater both struggled mightily in those joint practices drew lock struggled between the 20s and teddy bridgewater struggled in the red zone and that's when it became apparent that neither one of those quarterbacks was the quarterback of the future for the denver broncos then 2019 you'll remember 2020 there was no preseason because of covid but in 2019, year one of the Vic Fangio era, the San Francisco 49ers came to Denver, and in day one of joint practices, the Denver Broncos had no effort, no intensity, no energy on the field. They cranked it up in day two, but again, those issues translated into the regular season in 2019, where we had all kinds of issues with the Denver Broncos having low energy, low effort in games. So whenever these joint practices happen, usually something will will clue you in to what's going to happen in the regular season and I expect that to be no different with these joint practices and the fact that they're going to be open to the public means that fans and media alike credentialed and non-credentialed are all going to be out there taking a look at this and scrutinizing how the Denver Broncos look in this practice it's only going to be one practice session based on what details have emerged so far but there's going to be a lot of information revealed about the Denver Broncos, and I'm really glad that these practices are actually open to the public so we can see them with our own eyes. All right, Broncos country, let me know in the comment section below, how do you guys feel about the Denver Broncos doing joint practices with the Green Bay Packers, and what do you feel like is going to be beneficial from these practices? Drop those comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts, as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well, subscribe, and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate appreciate it guys those are two free and easy ways to show your support it helps tell youtube's algorithm to push us out and it helps us get seen by more and more members of broncos country just like you and me and until next time guys i'm your host gage madrid saying peace out